Hello everyone and welcome on the Papier de Rêve channel. I'm Ursula and today I will be painting with you some Echeveria. I think it's uh, my first time uh, uh, trying to paint uh, uh, a cactus or a succulent uh, uh, in video or in my sketchbook ever. Uh, I'm more used to paint some regular f plants and flowers that I can see uh, every day uh, here in North Europa. Uh, but I wanted to try something different and something m more warm. Uh, I think it's uh, a bit more seasonal to paint uh, cactus and succulent uh, these days. So I'm trying it today and uh, let's see what happens. My reference picture is uh, an Echeveria uh, on lots of rocks uh, and I have to um, find a way to re represent uh, the, the rocks, uh, the bedding of rocks uh, they are onto and also the texture of the plant. Uh, so I start this painting with uh, a mix of uh, yellow ochre and lavender. This mix uh, creates beautiful uh, greys uh, and you can make them a little bit more cold if you add more lavender or a little bit more warm if you add a little bit more of yellow ochre in it. And uh, it's a very interesting uh, mix of color because it's uh, granulating a lot and it's creating beautiful texture. And in this uh, wet area, I'm infusing uh, some pigments of uh, lunar blue, uh, uh, phthalo turquoise and uh, rose madder lake. Uh, it's a really beautiful mix that make uh, quite a, a turquoise, uh, gooey, blue, violet uh, color. And it's a perfect color for Echeveria. So I'm placing this color uh, a little bit uh, in the area I want and I let them uh, bleed uh, in the gray uh, as they want uh, because I will add something more in a second. Uh, in order to create the texture of the rocks and uh, the plant, I will use some uh, plastic film, plastic wrap film. I don't know the, how it's called in English, but uh, I will put this film of plastic on top of my paper and creating uh, a lot of ripples that will uh, create uh, the texture of rocks. It's a very interesting uh, technique to use because it adds a lot of uh, texture to a painting and so easily uh, you have just to put the plastic and let it dry completely before removing it. Uh, and it creates, as you can see, a uh, lot of texture and you can also make different layers of this texture to uh, add a little bit more depth. Uh, here today I have made just one layer, but I certainly uh, will try to add other layers in other painting because it's really interesting. So the texture has been created in a very easy way. Uh, it's just uh, the perfect technique for uh, beginners and uh, people that don't want to draw. With the texture created, you just have to paint around and bring some parts up and uh, your painting is done. So right now I'm putting a darker color uh, where I want my plants to be. Uh, and I'm still using the mix of uh, Lunar Blue, uh, Turquoise de of Talo Turquoise and uh, Rose Madder Lake. Uh, it's a really a beautiful mix and I love it. And if you don't have uh, Lunar Blue, you can still use the mix of uh, Talo Turquoise and Rose Madder Lake and you will have some beautiful violet grays, uh, sometimes a little bit green and it's really a beautiful mix. So with this uh, mix of color, I'm putting the darkest dark uh, uh, in my painting and then I'm uh, using a clean brush to uh, gradient the color uh, into the foliage of my plants. And it gave a really nice uh, 3D effect to it. So uh, it's a nice trick and I'm just using the, the form, the shapes that are present uh, after the texture with the plastic wrap. I'm not drawing anything right now. So I'm using the texture to define the plants and uh, the rocks and, and that's it. There is uh, no magic trick here. It's just uh, I'm just observing what's on my paper and playing with it. Uh, it's a uh, very easy things to do and I think you, you can do it too. 
I've used this technique with the plastic wrap in another video. Uh, I will put the link in the description box if you are interested to see it. Uh, it was just some works with uh, water and uh, some splashes of water. And it's a perfect technique to create ripples in the water. And uh, it's also a great technique to create foliage very easily with texture in, uh, in just uh, one layer. And I uh, very encourage you to try it because it's really nice and fun to do. Of course, in this case of painting succulents, it will not be uh, very realistic, but I hope I will uh, give to my painting just the thing enough uh, for you to sense the desert feeling in this painting and uh, the dryness of the soil and everything that makes you feel uh, that uh, desert plants. Um, and I'm just looking for that. I'm not looking for realistic, but just feelings. The warmth and the dryness of uh, what I want you to feel uh, will be also supporting with the choice of color, the choice of color I made, uh, especially with the yellow ochre, uh, which made a beautiful, beautiful mix with lavender. I'm really happy with this mix and I'm, I can't stop using it. And also the warmth of the yellow ochre uh, will bring even more the coldness of my mix of turquoise, tallow turquoise and uh, rose madder lake. Uh, and it will balance each other and make things uh, very, really interesting. Uh, it's nice to have uh, this kind of contrast between uh, cold and warm color uh, to make the painting alive. And while I'm uh, talking about the colors, let's talk about the supplies I use. I use an Escoda Aquario number 18 and also a Raphael Petit Gris 803 number 2. And for the colors, I've used Phthalo Turquoise, Yellow Ochre, Rose Mother Lake, Lunar Blue, Lavender and a tiny bit of nickel as a yellow at the end. And my paper is Canson Heritage in a rough. Today I've chosen to work with a rough paper uh, because I'm working with a lot of granulating color like yellow ochre and lunar blue and even lavender if uh, it's not really a granulating color but it acts like one. So uh, in order to capitalize on this effect of granulation, I'm using a rough paper so that the pigment can sink in all the hollow of my paper and create a texture uh, very easily. And this uh, granulating effect and texture is even more appropriate uh, for the feeling I want you to have uh, because I'm painting some desert plants, some succulents. So the idea of sand is quite a, a nice thing to have in this painting. As I said uh, on the beginning, uh, I'm not aiming for realism here. And as you can see, my plants are just uh, suggested in my painting and there is no real definition to them. And they almost blend with the rocks uh, they are lying on. Uh, so I'm just uh, adding the tiny details that will make you think about uh, plants and succulents and Echeveria maybe. So I'm adding some stems to my plants and some flowers also uh, in order to give you this um, idea that it may be uh, succulents, but I'm not doing too much uh, because I want this to be just an impression and not realism at all. I had a lot of fun uh, with this painting and I can't wait to try other uh, succulents or cactus because it's, it's really fun and uh, quite easy to do and I can play with different colors than I'm used to so I can't wait for that. And this video is now ending, thanks for watching, I hope you like it. Please check the blog post uh, for more information about it and tell me what you think in the comments. See you soon.